When it comes to controversy in the fast food industry, KFC has not been immune to some of the worst of it. So let's take a fresh look back at some of the biggest scandals to ever hit the fried chicken chain. There are plenty of urban legends involving fast food, and KFC found itself targeted with a particularly weird one when bogus rumors resurfaced in 2014 that the chain had been genetically modifying chickens to create bigger, meatier birds. That evolved into fake claims that the company's rebranding from Kentucky Fried Chicken to KFC was legally required because the mutant creatures they were frying up were technically not chickens. Although Snopes easily debunked the rumors, they became so prevalent in China that KFC's parent company Yum Brands sued three Chinese tech firms for allowing doctored photos of these monstrous but entirely imaginary creatures to proliferate on its social media platforms. Yum Brands won the suit but was awarded only a small fraction of the damages sought. Nevertheless, a KFC spokesperson said that the company was pleased with the outcome. Oh my god, my sister told me about KFC breeding these mutant chickens. They won't stay alive, they would they? Look, oh, is it even possible to get me to chickens? In 2014, Yum Brands was rocked by a news story that originated in China. A TV journalist went undercover in a factory owned by Shanghai Husi Food Co., which supplied meat to Yum-owned fast food restaurants throughout China, and captured footage of employees mixing old, expired meat with fresh meat. Shanghai authorities ordered Husi to suspend all operations, while the Shanghai Municipal Food and Drug Administration announced it would investigate claims of the alleged use of expired raw food material production, as well as the processing of it in food. The repercussions were severe. Ten employees involved in the scheme received prison sentences, while Husi's U.S. parent company, OSI Group, was fined more than $300,000. Yum Brand subsequently experienced a 16% drop in sales in the wake of the scandal. In 2015, CNN reported that a customer at a Los Angeles KFC received a serious shock when he opened up his box of food and dug into his order. What he saw inside was terrifying. It was a piece of chicken that appeared to have a small rodent-like body and long, thin tail. Upon closer inspection, the diner then made a stunning allegation. He had been served a Kentucky Fried Rat. I got this rat, this annoying, eating f rat. Photos of the man's dish certainly appeared to support his claim. After he went public with his accusations, KFC investigated and tested the alleged rodent. When the results were in, KFC issued a statement to ABC describing the results that read, Recently, a customer questioned the quality of a KFC product, and this received considerable publicity given the sensational nature of his claim. The customer's attorney turned over the product in question for testing at an independent lab, and the results officially confirmed what KFC knew all along. The product was chicken and not a rat, as he claimed. KFC has made its share of mistakes, but this particular scandal is one in which they deservedly emerged mostly unscathed. When Papa John's founder, John Schnatter, was forced to resign after admitting to using a racial slur, he tried to take KFC's founder, Colonel Harlan Sanders, down with him, as a twisted way of attempting to justify his own behavior. During a conference call, he complained that Sanders called black people the N-word without ever facing the public backlash that Schnatter was enduring. However, the family of the late Sanders, who founded Kentucky Fried Chicken in 1952 and died in 1980, denied that the fast food trailblazer ever used racist language. In an interview with the Louisville Courier Journal, Sanders' grandson, Trig Adams, blasted Schnatter's assertion as, quote, an absolute lie. Furthermore, he described the ousted Papa John's founder as a weasel. According to Adams, Schnatter's accusation was simply a case of projecting his own bad behavior onto someone else. As he put it, because he's prejudiced, he's trying to say somebody else was too. Sanders had absolutely no prejudice against anybody. In August 2019, a woman named Rosie Lancaster picked up some chicken from a KFC in Annandale, Australia, and was horrified when she began eating and realized it was a tad undercooked. To be more precise, it was completely raw inside. She took to Facebook and shared photos of the vile-looking pink meat that had been hidden beneath KFC's signature crispy coating. She wrote in the caption, "'Purchased on Friday from KFC Annandale, rang immediately after. The girl on the phone seemed interested and asked me to email photos through, and they would call back. No callback yet and no response. Lancaster's Facebook post went viral as it racked up thousands of comments, which prompted KFC to finally issue an apology in which they said, "'We're very sorry to hear about this as it doesn't meet our very high standards of food safety, and we have been in touch with the customer to offer a full refund. We're also currently in the process of undertaking a full review of the incident to understand what has happened.'" Actress Pamela Anderson has long been an animal rights activist, and she's also been a vocal member of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals for decades. In 2008, she took aim at KFC over the treatment of their chickens. In association with PETA, she presented a video documenting treatment of the chickens along with the launch of a companion website, KentuckyFriedCruelty.com. According to Anderson, when it comes to the Colonel's famed secret recipe, Sadly, the main ingredient is cruelty. 
In the video, Anderson showcased footage of chickens enduring horrific conditions that was allegedly shot at a slaughterhouse that supplied chickens to KFC. This wasn't the first time that Anderson had attacked the chain. In fact, she'd been calling for a boycott of KFC for nearly a decade at that point, even visiting restaurants personally to protest. When news of the video's production broke, KFC tried to head things off by telling the Associated Press, we have an independent panel of outside experts who set our high standards. They are the same standards that all our competitors use to ensure humane treatment around the country. Anderson's protests may not have stopped KFC in its tracks, but it likely convinced a few customers to think twice before ordering one of their buckets. In 2014, a seven-year-old boy in Newcastle, England, was enjoying the KFC chicken that his stepmother, Crystal Henderson, had picked up for him when he bit into a piece that was as hard as a rock. Upon inspection, Henderson discovered that the chicken wasn't chicken at all. It was, in fact, a piece of blue paper towel that had apparently been deep-fried. As Henderson pointed out to the Express, the blue roll could have been used for anything. It could have bleach or disinfectant on it. To give that to a child, I felt so guilty even though it wasn't my fault. For a child to bite into that is horrendous. To make matters worse, when Henderson returned to the restaurant to complain, she was told to phone the customer service line. Eventually, KFC issued an apology and a refund. A spokesperson told the Express, We're very sorry for Ms. Henderson's experience and apologize to her immediately, as well as giving her a refund at the time of the incident. We take food quality and hygiene very seriously and, unfortunately, on this extremely rare occasion, our restaurant failed to meet the high standards that both we and our customers expect. We have retrained staff on our stringent food preparation procedures at this store to ensure this doesn't happen again. KFC surmised that the blue tissue most likely originated from a tissue roll used for hygiene purposes, and then fell into the batter undetected. Most of the controversy that has surrounded KFC over the years has had to do with its chicken, but a 2017 hygiene scandal that erupted in the United Kingdom had nothing to do with poultry. A TV news report from that year investigating McDonald's, Burger King, and KFC tested samples of ice from 10 different branches of each of these restaurants. Five samples taken from KFC were found to have significant levels of fecal bacteria. The Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, which is the government agency responsible for setting UK water standards, says that the acceptable level of fecal bacteria in drinking water is zero. A spokesperson for KFC told The Independent that the company was shocked and extremely disappointed by the test results and outlined the steps that were taken, explaining, We immediately shut down the ice machines in the restaurants affected to conduct a thorough clean and inspection, and reinforce the importance of adhering to our strict procedures to all employees. Treating chicken with antibiotics is a matter of some debate. While America's National Chicken Council has stated that the practice can be perfectly safe and keeps birds healthy and consumers free of disease when done responsibly, there remains some controversy about the pros and cons of this practice. In 2016, several consumer advocacy groups banded together to launch a petition asking KFC parent company Yum Brands to stop using chickens that had been treated with antibiotics. As Lena Brooke of the Natural Resources Defense Council, one of the U.S. groups behind the petition put it, KFC is lagging woefully behind. Diners around the country want KFC to step up. The pressure tactics were apparently effective. As the following year, KFC announced plans to stop using chickens treated with human antibiotics. In 2020, KFC Australia ran an edgy TV commercial promoting its Zinger popcorn box. That started a backlash. In the spot, a young woman wearing short shorts and a low-cut top is on her way to a music festival. Seeing a parked car with tinted windows, she tweaks her outfit, adjusting her cleavage while looking at her reflection in the car's mirror-like windows. As she makes adjustments to her top, the windows roll down to reveal two young boys with goofy smiles on their faces, along with a grown woman expressing her disapproval. Collective Shout, an Australian advocacy group dedicated to calling out the objectification of women, put the commercial on blast, saying, "'Ads like this reinforce the false idea that we can't expect better from boys. It is another manifestation of the boys will be boys trope, hampering our ability to challenge sexist ideas, which contribute to harmful behavior towards women and girls.'" In response to the controversy, KFC issued a statement that read, We apologize if anyone was offended by our latest commercial. Our intention was not to stereotype women and young boys in a negative light. In 2018, a bizarre confluence of events led British KFC restaurants to literally run out of chicken. It all began when the chain switched from its previous delivery company to DHL. When a large car crash involving seven vehicles and at least one fatality took place at a junction near DHL's main warehouse in the town of Rugby, police blocked off roads in order to investigate. The road closure left DHL's chicken-loaded trucks stuck in traffic and KFC restaurants without any chicken. My reaction is angry, sad, and disappointed. KFC wound up temporarily shutting down two-thirds of its locations throughout the UK and Ireland with DHL taking responsibility and apologizing to hungry customers. 
In response to the crisis, KFC contracted ad agency Mother to craft a clever ad campaign to mitigate the damage with a little humor. The agency cooked up a full-page ad featuring a KFC bucket, with the letters FCK substituted for KFC. As the ad joked, a chicken restaurant without any chicken, it's not ideal. It's been a hell of a week, but we're making progress. And every day, more and more fresh chicken is being delivered to our restaurants. This sounds like the sort of story that might make you reconsider ever again asking the question, why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more MASH videos about fast food chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.